Hey everybody, welcome back to One Seed, One World. So we're into June now and hopefully uh, you are in an area where maybe some of your plants are starting to grow. Maybe you're seeing a little bit of produce and uh, some flowers blooming. But also with flowers blooming, you may also notice that if you planted some potatoes, you might have some blossoms coming in on your potatoes. And questions come up on whether you should leave the potato blossoms or if you should trim them off. So we're gonna go over that today. So in front of me here, I've got some russet potatoes and you can see there you're getting the blossoms on them here. And uh, basically what that means is that your plant is now maturing and there's probably tubers forming underneath the ground right now. Uh, there's a couple of the reasons why you might get a bunch of blossoms on your flowers as well. Some of it is the weather environment and that, uh, like if there's high heat, um, the plant sometimes will rush to put off more flowers because it's the, the plants are trying to perpetuate themselves and so the flowers will eventually turn into potato berries which are filled with seeds and i've got a video on that if you know about saving potato berry seeds if you want to try doing that because you can potentially if you're growing different varieties and they get cross-pollinated you could end up making your own your own personal hybrid potato uh, and so check out that video if you want to look more into that um, also, if the plants have been over fertilized, sometimes that will also cause them to kind of rush and put off flowers right away. I haven't had high heats here, and I don't think these have been over fertilized. I haven't actually fertilized them at all. So it's whatever <laughs> nutrients that they're getting out of the ground. So I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, so, but in general, it's just because the plants are maturing and they're starting to put off the blossoms. Now, one thing is, when the plants start putting off these blossoms, which will then turn into potato berries, the plants are putting that energy into, you know, making these blossoms and the potato berries. And so it's putting less energy down into the ground, into the tubers, into your potatoes to make bigger, better potatoes. So if you have a lot of blossoms on your plant, that can cause your potatoes maybe not to be as big. And so, to help the plant kind of concentrate its energy back down into the ground, into the potatoes where you want it, you're gonna to wanna to prune off your potato blossoms. And then that will tell the plant they don't need to rush to be putting off flowers and putting their energy into that. They should be putting their energy back down into the ground where we can make some nice big potatoes. So we'll go ahead and get into pruning these. I'll show you how to do that real quick. And uh, it's a pretty easy thing. All you need is a pair of scissors or a pair of garden shears. All right, so when you're pruning your flowers, you can just take the actual flower, and the stem's kind of long here. Goes all the way down. I know that probably doesn't come up as good on the camera, plus it's really bright out here today, but you see how long that stem is. Just go down to the base of the stem of the flower head and snip it right off. So there's your flowers that you've just trimmed off. And you can just toss those into the compost. So you can also trim your flowers when they uh, first start coming on, when you start seeing these little buds. I let mine go a little bit longer because I was waiting to do this video. Um, but, you know, as soon as they start, you start seeing these pop up, you can trim those off right away and not even let them blossom. And that will even make the plant energy uh, move quicker down into your tubers instead of waiting until they're flowers. And so that, my friends, is just a little bit about pruning potato blossoms and uh, you know how it affects your potato plants. Uh, so I hope, hope you found that information helpful. I think I got most of mine all trimmed off now, uh, but you know this is something that you may have to do uh, you know, a couple times throughout the season. Just check your plants and see if you know you got like those little buds coming on actually as i'm looking over at some of these i see some that i've already missed that haven't blossomed yet so i'll have to get back in there but you know just check them from time to time trim them off and uh, that will keep all that good at plant energy heading down into your tubers to make you some fine potatoes for good eating later in the year so if you have any questions or concerns please feel free to put a comment down below and again, thanks for hanging out with me again today. I hope that whatever is going on in your neck of the woods, that uh, you're having a fantastic 2023 
and uh, that all your plants are uh, growing well and are hopefully staying weed free. But have a great day. We'll see you again soon. Namaste.